What would you do to gain an inch or two? This is two inches. This is a quarter, this is an inch. That's an inch and a half. Hi, I'm Dr. Chan. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over three ways to enlarge your penis. Two of these I would definitely not recommend. And one of them I actually would. Let's play a game and see if you can actually figure out which one. Behind door number one, injecting fat into your penis. Behind door number two, cutting the ligament that suspends your penis to the pubic bone. And then finally, behind door number three, a rack for your penis. Let's talk about each one. The first one is injecting fat into your penis. The way this works is that using liposuction, you remove some fat from one part of your body and then inject it into your penis. This gives the appearance of a thicker, wider penis. However, I have seen some complications from this. The fat can sometimes necrose and calcify. Now, you've got hard chunks of calcified material in your penis. This is not the most cosmetically appealing thing. Furthermore, some research shows that the fat that gets injected into your body, a good 30% of it gets broken down within almost two months. The fat just doesn't stick around. Next up, we've got option number two, cutting the ligament that suspends your penis to the pubic bone. This is a procedure called ligamentolysis. This is a way to make the flaccid penis look bigger by cutting the suspensory ligament. This is the ligament that attaches the penis to the pubic bone. During the procedure, the surgeon will sever this ligament and then move the skin from the abdomen to the shaft of the penis. While this may make the flaccid penis look bigger, it actually doesn't increase the actual size of the penis. It's like an optical illusion. Once again, as a urologist, I might be a little biased because I only see the complications of these. Cutting the suspensory limit can sometimes lead to significant bleeding if done improperly. Finally, behind door number three, we've got a penile traction device, or essentially a rack for your penis. This company, Restorex, sent me this device to take a look at just to see what I thought and whether it's something that I would prescribe to my patients. It's developed by a urologist who specialized in Peyronie's disease over at Mayo Clinic, and it's got good clinical data behind it. The way it works is that it stretches the penis by having you apply it for 30 minutes twice a day over a 12 week period. Let's take a look at the components and see how it works. They ran some clinical trials on it and what they found was after 12 weeks of using this stuff, 30 minutes twice a day, 90% of people had an increase on average of 1.6 centimeters in penis size. The other thing that this thing was specifically designed for was to reduce the curvature in the penis if you've got something called Peyronie's disease. Now I'll do another video going into a little bit more detail about how to tension this device and make sure that it fits and works well. So now I've gone over three different options for enlarging your penis. The only one that I would probably recommend out of these three is the Restorex Penile Traction Device, which you can get online without a prescription. If you wanna find out some more information about erectile dysfunction or other men's health related questions and topics, check out some of my other videos in the erectile dysfunction playlist and the men's health playlist. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.